Well, hello again, everybody. It's me, Ira, and welcome back to the jungle. I have restarted the campfire, <laughs> um, but I am basically picking up right where I left off last time. So, uh, last time, got my first little bits of food. So, I've got a pot with one more serving in it, and I've got a bowl with 0.3 servings in it. Uh, don't have any storage yet, but that is something that I think will be easily remedied. I can either make a clay storage vessel or I can just go get some reeds and make some baskets, which might be the easier thing to do, to be honest. Um, so I'm certainly not all clear in terms of food. I'm definitely going to need to find more food pretty soon, but I'll be set for a little while now. It is dark out now, so probably one of the things I'm going to want to do now is uh, start making some, uh, some torches, at least one torch, so that I can uh, light my way a little bit in the darkness. And um, I think basically the next thing I want to do, I know where to go to get food. Basically, if I start getting low, then I will... Uh, nope, no, 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 don't burn those. Let's go there. Uh, if I start getting low on food, I will head out and do some more hunting. However, while I have some with me, and uh, also, you know, just considering how quickly food spoils in the jungle, it's not really as useful to stock up on a bunch of it as it would be in, uh, in a normal world. We got three. Sure. Actually, you know what? I'll keep these three just in case I need tools. Uh, I'm gonna throw one here. Nope, not there. There. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so that I can find my way back here in the darkness if I need to. Actually, navigating in the dark, as long as you leave a torch every now and then, it can be can be easier in a jungle than navigating during the day when you don't have that light to go towards. Um, I don't think I'm, I'm at too much risk of getting lost anyway. But I will probably pick up some stones uh, and just sort of every once in a while make a little... Uh, a little marker like this one right here, just to let me know where I've been in case I start getting a little bit on the lost sucks. I only have a couple of torches now. I don't I don't wanna use all my sticks. Actually, I've got plenty of sticks. I could I could make a couple more. I could make a couple more, right? Uh, by the way, if you put firewood back in the fire before it completely cools down, it will start back up. You don't have to relight it, which is handy. I like that. I appreciate it. So, um, I think the next thing I want to do is actually just go directly to, um, trying to get some copper. Once I have copper, I can make some good tools, and that is going to be very useful. So, I need to go out and find copper. But that's going to be the difficult thing, because finding copper in, uh, in the jungle is going to be, it's going to be tricky. So, I'm going to head back off this way. I don't remember if I found any copper over here before. Um... Let's just kind of take a look, pick up some of these. Every once in a while, I'm going to drop down one of these with a stone in the direction of the base. So again, just in case I get a little turned around, it'll increase my likelihood of finding my way back if I have these little waypoints, these little markers. Now, I don't need to worry about being out at night at the moment because there's not going to be any monsters for a while. And honestly, even once the monsters start appearing, the surface drifters are not that bad, honestly. And, uh, I'm not too worried about them. I, I do have the enemies set to passive, which I believe affects the sort of aggro distance of the drifters as well, so they won't be coming after me from far, far away. And I think I am going to take one of my torches, stick it here under this tree where it'll be protected from the rain. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of come down this way and see what's down here. I have not come down on this side yet. I went down on the other side. But that's gonna be pretty easy to find from pretty far away. So let's see if we can find some copper. Copper is gonna be tricky. Oh, there's lots of clay here as well too. Great. There was a big patch up there, but it wasn't actually that big a patch. Maybe maybe big patch is a little bit uh, of an exaggeration. <laughs> it wasn't that big. Um, Oh, I thought I saw something moving, but it was just it was just particles. It was just particles. That happens to me a lot, where I think I see something out of the corner of my eye, but... Oh, look at this. Uh, I often think I see something out of the corner of my eye, which just turns out to be particles or moving leaves and stuff. I get a little jumpy. Alright, so I need 40 nuggets in total, uh, just to start the basic... I am gonna want to mark this. Can I put... I'll put some bamboo down here. Give me this. 
put a bamboo block that way I'll be absolutely sure that this was placed by me. I'll probably get rid of this actually, although I'm gonna pick that back up automatically. Aren't I? Okay. Okay, uh, so I've got 14. That's actually not too bad a start. That's not too bad a start. I'm going to need a lot more. But the fact that I found that so quickly is encouraging. So I'm gonna just kinda, just kinda go down. Just keep heading. Oh no, goodness, goodness gracious me. Sorry folks, I just realized, I've been playing on my patron server, by the way. Do have that patron server. I know I mention it every time, but you know, maybe it's somebody's first time here. I have a patron server. Um, so if you want to play with me on a server which is tweaked to be kind of a little bit friendlier than maybe the vanilla game, um, patreon.com slash it's me really. Don't worry, I'm not gonna pest you about it, but I just want to let you know it's there. Uh, while I play on the server, I do have the coordinates and map open. Don't worry, I wasn't looking at them. I just happened to see it out of the corner of my eye. I did see the word west. I'll, I'll, I'll come clean, I did see the word west, but you know what? I kind of already knew that this was west. <laughs> Uh, because of the way the sun and move move. Sun and... the sun and move move. Yes. Sure. Well, let's go with that. The sun and moon move from east to west. So I already knew what direction I was going in. Um, I really have found that it doesn't take long... I think I've said this already. It doesn't take long playing like this before your sense of direction kind of adjusts. And uh, you start... Taking, you're taking note of your surroundings a bit more. Ooh. That looks like a very light colored stone. It's probably just granite. Oh, copper. Copper. I get excited whenever I see something that looks like it could be chalk or limestone. I only have 17. I need more. And I can't easily come down here. It's probably just granite. Usually when I see something and I think, oh, is that chalk or limestone? It usually turns out to be granite. But... Let's go take a peek anyway. Let's see what's over here. I don't want to, again, I don't want to stray too far from just going in one direction. Oh, it's still just andesite. Andesite's what's been here all along. What am I, what am I even thinking? I see a rock over here? No. No, I'm seeing things. Completely nuts. Um, so, I, uh, I did a stream from the patron server just yesterday. I am I am recording this the day after that stream, so if you're with me in the stream, hey, thanks for hanging out on the stream. It was really a lot of fun. Uh, the developers came and hung out, uh, and it was a great time. It was the first time I'd ever streamed Vintage Story. I have always shied away from streaming this game because the graphics are so pretty and my internet is just so poopy that I, uh, I was worried that the quality of the stream would be really poor. This is a big lake here. Well, that's a good landmark. It's almost straight uh, to the west of the base there. Uh, oh, goodness. I'm trying to open up my inventory. Let's I'm grab some logs. Oh, it's going to take ages because there's so many leaves in the tree. Um, I am going to put one of these little, little sort of waypoints here with the stone just uh, so that I can go around the lake. Oh, don't need you. And then when I get back here, I know, head back that way to get back home. Uh, I am also, it would be useful to have a basket. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, get it. Uh, pick some more of these reeds. It's 24 reeds to make a basket. Uh, yes. There we go. It is also kind of tough because I've got a little bit of the, the visual lag here. I do think it's just because I'm in a jungle and all of these leaf blocks and grass blocks need to be animated and I think it's just a little bit demanding on the processor, the video card, or both, or something. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, I did that stream and I think it went pretty well, actually. The quality wasn't amazing, of course. It wasn't full HD, but none of my streams are ever full HD because my internet is just not capable of supporting that much, that, that kind of a bitrate. Uh, but I did look at the stream archive after, and it actually looked better than I expected it to. I'll pick up a couple of these. I don't have any more rocks in my inventory. Making me nervous. Uh, so yeah, I think I will probably continue streaming Vintage Story. I really enjoyed streaming the game. It's it's a It lends itself well to streaming, you know? There's a lot of times where you're just sort of wandering, exploring. I see Reed out there. <laughs> Push my way through the water here. There's a couple of... How many do I have? 
Oh, oh goodness. I keep getting these little frame drops. Cool, so that's 18, 19, 19. I need five more, and I see some more over here, so that should be no problem. Five more of these. Ooh, I'm hit midnight. Eight days before monsters appear. Two, three, four, five. Yes, all right, so that's enough for a basket, and I do have uh, carry capacity on as well. So if I need a little bit of extra inventory space, I can pick that up and strap it to my back, which is good stuff. Um, oh, it's a conch! It's a shell! I think the shells can be ground down into lime. I don't need that right now, but... Uh, good to keep in mind. Cool. Really, I'm still just looking for copper, though. And I know this may not be the best place to find it, although I suppose there's not a best place to find it, right? It's just gonna show up wherever it shows up. Um, but the, the lake is a good, a good, uh, way to guide myself. I can cover a bit of a decent chunk of area here uh, without getting lost. So I'll just go around till I reach the other side. I don't even think I needed that sort of waypoint either, to be honest. I think I'll know when I'm back. I've gotten so good at this. Uh, but yeah, so so in recording this series, I'm gonna try to kind of play it like I played the stream. So usually I try to keep the quote-unquote boring parts to a minimum, and I do a lot of editing to cut out times when I'm just searching, exploring, uh, doing grindy stuff. I may do that eventually. Ooh, this is, oh no, it's blue clay. I thought that was fire clay. Ooh, let's not lose my, let's not lose my path here. Man, I found all that copper so fast and now I'm not finding any more. Uh, but yeah, so instead of, instead of giving myself all that editing work to do, I'm gonna try to do it more like a stream sort of deal. Uh, so that means kind of including the grindy bits and the exploration. I mean, if I ever get to a point where I'm like, all right, I know for the next half an hour I'm going to be standing in place clicking something or whatever, I'll, I'll go ahead and, um, and edit that out. And we're back. Um, I'm going to head back slightly this way. And then head back this way until I see that torch. Just so I can try to cover a slightly different bit of ground here. I don't want to go too, too far. And I also shouldn't have to. Oh. Whoa. Okay, this is dangerous. We have, uh... The game has, like, cave-ins and stuff now. With, uh, the, gra the grass blocks or the dirt blocks will just fall out from under your feet while you're exploring. Gotta be careful. Um, but yeah, for the most part I'm gonna try to just sort of include the whole thing just because I think this is a fun... I think... Let me put it this way. I feel like this would be fun for me to watch, that I would enjoy watching this. And so I'm gonna hope that other people will enjoy watching it too. So I'm gonna include it all. Uh, just for the aesthetic of this sort of jungle world, all the bright, vivid green colors and all that, although it's nighttime now, we can't see so much. Um, leave, leave your feedback, by the way, about nighttime. Do you want to watch nighttime? Or is this hard on your eyes? Because I know it's hard on my eyes, frankly. Uh, even just playing it, and I know that YouTube darkens it up, but I know other people are also not quite as sensitive as me. So, uh, leave a comment and let me know, um, how you feel about the nighttime. Would you prefer if I try not to do anything too important at night and try to edit out some of the nighttime exploration or whatnot, or is it fine as long as I'm holding a torch in my hand? You po you folks, I was gonna say you people, and then I was gonna say you folks, and then I tried to say them both, and it didn't go very well. <laughs> you folks, let me know uh, how you feel about that. I'm, I'm very interested in your feedback. I enjoy making these videos, but I obviously also want you to enjoy watching them, and I don't want them to be painful or difficult to watch. Oh, copper, sweet. Uh, give me those. Now, of course, the downside of not having a map is that it will be harder to find my way back here to dig up the rest of the copper later. But, if I leave myself a little waypoint, and especially if I stick a torch underneath something so it hopefully won't get rained on too much. Look, you can see my torch over there. I actually came quite a ways. Uh, hopefully, I'll find my way back to the spot. It's, it kind of stands out, so I don't think it'd be too tough to find this. It would be easier if we were doing this during the day, of course. Uh, these torches, by the way, the particles are beautiful, but they do kind of get in the way a lot. 
and I since it's off to the corner of the screen, I find it, it kind of gives me a little bit of a headache sometimes. Kind of have mixed feelings about them. I don't know if I would go so far as to say that I don't want them there, but sometimes it's it's a little painful sometimes, frankly. Maybe if they could be toned down a bit, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't have an answer. I don't have a solution. I like them and also they're annoying at the same time. It's like life, you know? Sometimes you like life and sometimes life is also annoying at the same time. <laughs> Often, I would say. Frequently, in my experience. So we've got 27. We've got enough for either a pick or a hammer. But not both. We do need both. The other thing, of course, that's going to be difficult in this jungle world, because basically visibility is very limited, right? We can't see far because there's all these, these trees and bamboo and leaves in the way. Um, finding ruins is going to be tough, right? So I can't count on finding ruins that might have, for example, uh, tool vessels and stuff. They're around. It's not that they're not being generated, of course. They're, they're certainly here somewhere. It's just that I, I am less likely to see them because they're going to be obscured be hidden. There it is right there. Cool. Uh, now let's see if I can get back up here without, you know, falling or causing an avalanche or something. As so often happens. Where was that torch? It's over here a little ways. There. Just double check. Yes, this is where I left my torch. So the base is that way. I'll go a little bit this way. This is where the clay was over here. Somewhere over here. Oh! Just as, just as I'm saying I'm, I can't count on finding ruins, I find a ruin. I haven't seen this one yet, right? No, I don't think so. so maybe that there. Oh! That lag, though. It's a farming vessel. Okay. What do we got? Anything good? Whoa! Goodness me. I'll get my first seeds. I get cabbage seeds. I got some flax fibers. And maybe some feathers. That is it. Okay, nothing terribly useful. I don't know if this one's gonna have a basement. Most of them don't, I find. Uh, and I also find, since the 1.12 update in general, um, I think there were some changes to the ruin generation system. And I find even more than before. I remember in the Winter Wonderland, I was complaining about finding too many of the same ruins, and now it seems to be worse. <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional or what, but uh, it makes things a little bit tricky. And there's that. Oh, this trader doesn't seem to have a torch or a lantern or anything. Hmm. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. I, I used to find a lot more of the nicer ruins, for sure. Well, what are you gonna do, you know? You gotta take what the game gives you. Ooh, there's more clay down here. I want to keep in mind any any spots that I find that have clay. Because I'm going to need a lot of that at some point. I don't want to take too much of it now, but... It looks like the sky to the east is growing lighter. Well, let's head back to camp. I'll put down my basket and uh, I'll put the stuff that I found that I don't need. I can shove in there. Basket! First, Our first storage. So I definitely don't need to take these with me. I should plant the seeds, of course, uh, but it's not urgent. I'll take that for now. Uh, yeah, the food is fine as long as I keep it in my pocket. <laughs> so I've got 27 copper. I might as well keep that with me. Why do I have two shovels? Why do I have two? Why do I have two shovels? Though was one of those shovels in the farming vessel? Can farming vessels have tools in them? The second knife, of course, will be because you make a pair of knives. When you make knives, you make two. But, uh, not so with the shovels, for sure. You get one shovel at a time. That's the rules. All right, let's go this way. I haven't been this way. Oh, there's, there's copper right here. Literally right at my base. Okay, so that's 30. I only need 10 more nuggets. Will I remember that there was copper here? What do you think, folks? I hope so. I trust myself not to get lost. I don't trust myself to remember there's copper in my base. <laughs> I probably even noticed that before, and I already forgot that it was there, right? I probably noticed that when I was just starting out with the first episode. Alright, well at least the sun's coming out. We can see a little bit easier now. Uh, ooh, here we go. We got another, another cavern there. 
do have to watch our step now. It can be really scary when the ground just, like, gives way underneath you. Let me tell ya. It can be pretty spoopy. Just gonna head in sort of a northerly direction here. Ooh, there's some more copper. Some more here. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be enough. I hope. I shouldn't have said that until... <laughs> Counting chickens, counting pre-hatched chickens. Okay, I got 42. Awesome. All right. So I'll stick a torch here. I think that will be enough. Even if the torch goes out, it'll be a signal to me that there's something here. Let's head back. Oh, it's spectacular. Spectacular news. I'm very excited. Uh, I will have to make molds out of clay, of course. And maybe that'll be the last thing I do in this episode. I don't want to. I don't want to make the episodes too too long. Partly because the shorter episodes upload faster. <laughs> and, uh... Partly because, you know, little, little bite-sized, little nugget-sized episodes can also be quite fun. So let's do some nice, relaxing pottery work here. We need a hammer. Gotta have a hammer. I'll tell you what, remember how long it took me to make a hammer in the last challenge? It was the last episode. The hammer was the last one of the last things that I did. Somebody, by the way, somebody left a comment on that last uh, Winter Wonderland episode saying I should have eaten the pumpkin before I finished the episode. And, and they were right. I should have. I didn't think of it. I wish I had. I've never eaten a pumpkin in this game because they've always been too precious and valuable. Also, that was the first time I think I've ever even successfully cooked a pumpkin. Or uh, grown a pumpkin, not cooked. You all know what I mean. I, I, I hope. I hope so. There we go. That's how you light a fire. It's a shift, hold, right click with a torch if you want to relight it without having to use the fire starter, which uh, takes a while. And it doesn't consume a torch or anything like that. So, uh, hammer on pick. And then we'll be able to uh, start mining. And then once we have enough, then we can make, you know... Um, an anvil, and, and just all, all the good things. All the good things are coming. Uh, once we have an anvil, we can make a saw, and then once we have saw, we can make wood planks, and the wood planks, of course, allow us to do so much more. I need a crucible as well. Crucible. So I'm really enjoying this so far. I hope, I hope you folks are enjoying this as much as I am. I'm having a blast with this jungle world. Uh, this is kind of the second jungle world that I've done, of course. Because I did do a test world, and I played it for... I played it for a good handful of hours before finally uh, switching over to this proper challenge world. Because I just wanted to test things out, wanted to test out some strategies and whatnot. Uh, and I did decide that making a beeline for copper was a good idea, rather than worrying about getting a lot of seeds to grow crops, because... They're gonna be few and far between. Just live off of meat for a while. Uh, make a beeline for copper, make a beeline for that saw, and then I could start making um, troughs for putting animal feed in. At least the large ones. I can fill with hay, and then if I can find an area where there are boars, I can then pen in some boars and get myself a population of animals. Meanwhile, I can be slowly gathering seeds and um, starting a small farm. And hopefully I'll find some terra preta and stuff like that as well. Go, cook that up. Got a little metal working area. Just stick this here. Um Yeah. I might as well I might as well like I suppose I can I can just make a second fireplace here. I don't have to fireplace? Fire pit. Oop. <laughs> Protected fire pit. Can stick this in there. We can save a little bit of time here. Whoop. There we go. I love how the wind blows the particles, folks. I do love how the wind blows those particles a lot. Oops. Oh, you can't you can't shift click when you're in an inventory window. That's good to know. I just learned something, folks. How often does that happen? Okay, it happens pretty often. <laughs> the answer to that is a lot. It happens a lot. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at look at. Let me just. Look at how the the flames and the smoke go in the breeze. Oh, and it's starting to rain. We've got our first rain. Good thing I put that roof over that fire pit. 
Look at this, we got our weather, we got our first rainstorm. I love it. I have never, those of you who watched me play Minecraft have heard me complain endlessly about rain. And I said this to the developer uh, watching my stream the other day as well. Um, they did such an incredibly good job. Oh, you know what? Once again, my friends, once again, yet again, I have forgotten that I need charcoal. I need charcoal to, to melt copper. Cannot do it with just firewood. So, okay, that is gonna have to be for next time then. Next time we'll get started with a charcoal pit. Oh, look at it coming down! <gasps> we got lightning! We got lightning, we got the rain bouncing off the ground. Spectacular! Oh my gosh, I love it so much! This is a proper storm. I am gonna have to build us a house, obviously. And it's gonna be up above ground. Uh, whoa! Ooh, that was a scary flash of lightning! Wow! Love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, um, I'll make a house, it'll be like up on stilts or something. So that, um... There's a lot of lightning, oh my goodness, it's a proper storm. Uh, so that the water doesn't, you know, saturate the floor and stuff. That's not a game mechanic, it's just a kind of a role-playing thing. Alright, um, folks, it is pouring with rain. I think I had better go, uh, end the episode, and then in the next one, we will get some charcoal made up. And, uh, maybe start building a house, because I don't want to be- I'm- Well, I'm soaking wet. I'm soaking wet. Let me just- let me just- under the roof there. My feet- my feet are in the fire. I'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, folks, that's it. Thanks for watching. I gotta go dry my hair. See you next time. Bye! Copper nuggets. Yes! Oh, the copper nuggets. I'm gonna make so many tools. I'm gonna make- Charcoal!